Hello guys, welcome to another video. And guys, today's video I want to be um, I want to be really explaining the two main enzymes. The two main enzymes over here are going to be the uh, lipoprotein lipase and hormone sensitive lipase. Right here, guys, in the enzymes, I really want to talk about both enzymes because these both are enzymes which can be confused very, very, very much. So I want to be talking about both enzymes and add both. Okay. So now I want to be comparing and contrasting them. So I'm going to be telling you guys up front there's going to be two, two, two differences um what's the main one what's the main one first one know the location okay lipase is going to be a very close to the endothelium it's going to be uh, attached to the luminal surface of the uh, and uh, of the of the luminal surface of the endothelial cells in the capillaries in the capillaries of the adipose tissue. Now I want to talk about this. Is just remember this: adipose tissue, hormones in this life is adipose tissue. So, oh, ad adipocytes. Sorry, sites. Very important differentiation here. Adipocytes occurs inside. Okay. Now what I want to talk about is going to be the hydrolysis of the um, extracellular triglycerides in lipoproteins. So uh, this is the key there word over here, which is going to be the high uh, hydro lysis very right, keyword over here and hydrolysis of trigly triglycerides of the extracellular again a keyword cellular um uh, lipoproteins right so the hydrolysis of extracellular i'll mention that in the beginning i'll put in bold to make sure it's a keyword extracellular and uh, making sure it's a keyword extracellular lipoprotein lipase no extracellular uh what do you call it um proteins right no, no, try uh, gly gly glycerides in the um, extracellular triglycerides in the uh, extracellular triglycerides of the adipose uh, of the uh, right, of the uh, in the lipoproteins. I we mean, know lipoproteins are uh, responsible for the transportation of tri triglycerides lipids in the blood. So, it, so yeah, different lipoproteins have different um, functionalities. Um, um, so, like for example, a very low density lipoproteins will transport, I believe, to the liver. Hypo high density liver will, uh, will high density lipoprotein will transfer from the liver. And yeah, that's the main differences uh, that I want to mention. And um, yeah, and very low density lipoproteins will, they will transfer to tissues. I believe so. I'm not too sure about that. Okay, anyways, they transfer like so. This is the cause hydrolysis of extracellular triglycerides in lipoproteins. Very important thing to mention. And the uh, what do you call it? The high hormone sensitive lipase. Hormone sensitive lipase is going to be, of course, going to be for the intracellular uh, hydrolysis, hydrolysis of uh, triglycerides, hydro. Lysis, uh, try glycerides in, inside the at, at the at the both sides. Another thing I want to get out of the way is essentially that, as we know, um, a hormone sense of life is going to be inhibited by the because, uh, of course. Uh, inhibited by the what do you call it, our beautiful uh, inhaled insulin. As we know, uh, why inhibited? Because uh, this is like a catabolic functioning hormone sensitive lipase, and as we know, the insulin is a major anabolic hormone, so therefore, anything catabolic it hates it, uh, activates lipo protein protein lipase brilliant okay now the main main difference i've left the most important is going to be for the uh this is going to be for example uh, the lab for lipase is going to be for the hydrolysis uh, hydrolysis of the lipoprotein triglyceride into free fat lipoprotein like triglycerides into free fatty acids and mono uh, glycerides Right. Okay. Very similar over here. Hydro. They're responsible for hydrolysis of triacyl, a, a triacyl glycerols. So triacyl glycerols. Um. Uh, di 
Asyl glycerols and mono uh, acyl glycerols um cholesterol esters other lipid and water soluble uh, substrates so let me just quickly recap for you. Inhibited by uh, hormones inside the lipids, inhibited by insulin, activated by insulin inside the adipose tissue, outside the adipose tissue, responsible for hydrolysine. Hyperbolic lipids is going to be responsible for uh, uh, hydrolysine, extracellular, um, uh, extracellular triglycerides of the lipoproteins. Whereas hormones and lipids is responsible for uh, hydrolysine intracellularly, intra, intracellularly. Next thing is I'm going to lipoprotein lipids is responsible for the hydrolysis of triglycerides into free fatty acids and and uh, free of fatty acids and gl glycerides, uh, monoglycerides, um, free fatty acids and monoglycerides. And then over here we have the uh, hormone sensitive lipase is going to be responsible for the hydrolysis into hydrolysis of triacylglycerides, glycerols, um, diacylglycerols, monoacylglycerols, cholesterol, and nipple and water soluble substrates. Thank you guys for watching.